Smoker McGavin here. Today's cigar review is the Diesel Wicked. Now this is a big cigar. It's a torpedo, but it's 6.2 by 56 ring gauge, so it's pretty big. It's got a pretty significant foot band on. The whole thing looks dark and sinister. It doesn't have the strongest smell. Maybe a little bit of uh, manure, but a good, a good manure. Anyway, so the foot band came off pretty easily enough. It says Wicked on it. The wrapper looks pretty rough, but uh, consistent. Very scary looking cigar. Let's get this cut up. It's a torpedo, so I have to use a guillotine. It's hard to tell, but I have a small crack in the wrapper and I cut it with a very sharp guillotine cutter. So that's a little bit annoying, but I'm sure if I am just careful, I should be fine. So let's get it lit up and see what it tastes like. Off the first light, beautiful draw, full body flavors. This is a full cigar. And I'm getting a, um, like a coffee, chocolate, and a cedar kind of spice. I ate a big meal, so if this is a full strength cigar, I should be able to handle it. I'll get back in touch with you guys when we reach the first third. So, as you can see, beautiful burn. Look at that, that is, it's not perfectly straight, but it is pretty close. Performing beautifully. Flavors are very, very smooth. I didn't expect that, but it's very smooth and sweet. Primarily, I'm tasting coffee with leather and a peppery and oily finish. So far off to a great start. I'll get back in touch with you guys when we reach the second third. Okay. So about 40 minutes in, very slow burner, great performance, still beautiful draw, perfect burn, haven't had a relight at once, and great flavors. The flavors have transitioned slightly. Sometimes I'm getting the leather and the coffee, but it's transitioned to more of a sweet chocolate earth and a little bit of pepper on the finish. I'm a huge fan of chocolate. I couldn't ask for a better um, flavor profile right now for a full body cigar. I'm just gonna keep puffing away and I'll get back to you guys during the third third. Right, one hour, 25 minutes in, great performance. All the way to the last third, I haven't had a relight at once. I'm gonna take the band off now. The third third produced a transition away from the chocolate and what I taste primarily now is a delicious coffee earth and a pepper finish a oily pepper finish as you can see the burn is still very very good no issues with the with the draw phenomenal smoke final thoughts i would say this cigar is perfect for the experienced cigar smoker would recommend this cigar after a big dinner the strength is probably i would say a medium if you've had a big meal if you haven't had a big meal probably a full full bodied smoke strength wise but after a good meal i'm feeling some effects so i'd say it's about a medium i highly recommend this cigar smoke if you like maduros and if you like sweet chocolatey earthy espresso coffee flavors and with that I think I'm going to end it. Follow us on Instagram. Check out our other videos, our cigar review videos, travel videos, how-to cigar review videos, and of course, our podcasts. And with that, adios.